Allen misses. Bowen scrambling. Four, five on one. Kingsbury to settles. From outside, Jones makes a baseline two, his first bucket of the game. Here's Kingsbury getting contact inside. Nice play. Took it right into Hayward and then scored. We've already talked about Chris Kingsbury trying to set him up as being a long range shooter, but Chris is coming down this time. He's a strong body. He's 6'5", about 215, 220 pounds, but he does not shy away from contact, takes it right into the basket, and just focuses on that rim and puts it up on high on the glass. Kingsbury settled doing an excellent job for Tom Davis as Ira Hawkeyes inside. Shot clock at 12, Derek. Glassford at Kingsbury, Millard at screen. Just settles for three. Rebound to Kingsbury. That's what you don't want if you're a UConn Husky fan. And you don't want that if you're a Husky fan either. Chris Kingsbury knocks down a three-point goal, his first three of the game. He has six points. To the basket. Yep, and Kirk King just did that after the offensive rebound. His first hoop of the game. The 15-point lead for Iowa down to only six. Good defense. They need to do a better job of controlling the defensive boards. Kingsbury, powerful move. Very powerful. That's a nice move. And he used his upper body to clear some space to be able to get that shot off. Woolridge. Allen because he has three fouls. Millard. To Kingsbury. You don't want to leave him open. That's three seconds. No. Kenyon Murray scores. Remember, nice defensive play, making him miss at the hoop. He didn't block the shot, but he was there to force him to change it. There's our man Kingsbury. Fouled on the missed three. What he will say? get three free throws. Four or five steps behind the three-point <laughs> arc. No, it's, that's nothing for him. <laughs> he fell into Dr. Tom Davis's coaching staff's lap over there. Take a look at the range of Chris Kingsbury out of Hamilton, Ohio. He's, he's a couple steps behind the line, and he falls out of bounds right in front of his bench. I'm telling you, that's nothing oh. like we saw on Wednesday. He made a couple, <laughs> tried a couple from the Great Alaska Shootout logo. Oh, yeah. Which is, uh, as far as the quarter court line goes, it's closer to half court. Yeah, 28, 30 feet from the basket. Pretty Jump shots. He's fearless. Loves the three-point shot. He says it's better than a dunk because it counts for one more point. See that logo out yeah. there where the official standing? <laughs> I watched Chris play in, in high school. He's from just outside of Cincinnati, an area called Hamilton High School in my home being Cincinnati. I watched him play a little bit, and he and a young man who's playing at the University of Cincinnati, Damon Flint, were co-player of the year. Got an air ball from three feet. He shoots at five. Good. Settles back Settles. out to Kingsbury. Yes. Before Settles even caught the ball, he was passing it back out. He read the floor. He knew what out of it. <laughs> 16 points for Travis Knight. But every time the Huskies are making a run. Here's Ray Allen speaking of. That's what the fans want to see. It's only a six-point game, Derek. Kingsbury, he's starting to cook now. And Yatkin. Sometimes when officials are not accustomed to seeing players in their style. That's why we've seen some travels. We've seen some carries of the ball. And certainly a lot of contact in the lane. Ricky Moore's upset. He thought he had a clean block on Kingsbury, but he's called for the foul as they continue to work on Travis Knight. Obviously injured a finger. Let's take a look on the defense here. Did Moore get this cleanly on? Watch below. Watch Kingsbury. the body. Is there contact? Yes, there's some contact on the body. That's where the foul is called. He did have hand and ball simultaneous, but there was some contact with the body. Good call. It's his left hand. It's not his right hand. <laughs> Most players hate when you refer to it as their shooting hand. Like they don't use both <laughs> hands to play basketball. He and does. Kingsbury. Oh. <laughs> the wild card. Chris Out of the Kingsbury. baseline. He buries another three. But it happens in this game of non-contact <laughs> basketball. Oh, Kingsbury going on Allen. Power move. He's on the line. Big play by Kingsbury. 
the outside shooting of Chris Kingsbury so much that players are always going to try to back off, back off, back off. And as he's able to power his way inside, he's got good enough athletic ability to be able to hang in the air. And, you know, take a look at his body. The guy's 6'5", 215 pounds. His three-point shooting really overshadows his game because mm. if he just took his three-point shot away, he could still score. Oh, and yeah. he could get down low and use that body to get himself on the line. Warren McDonald's All-American. Last year, he made 3.6 on the average, three-point shots per game. <laughs> Millard back into the game. Kenyon Murray leads. Actually, last year, and this will surprise most people, the Iowa Hawkeyes attempted more three-point field goals a game than Rick Pitino's Kentucky Wildcats. Got to give it up. Finds Ryan Bowen. Calling the foul on Sheffer. Trying to take the pass away from Bowen to Kingsbury. Sheffer picks up his third of the game. 319 to go. Iowa Hawkeyes trying to hang on here. Kingsbury will shoot the one and one. Kingsbury's had a terrific second half. He only had three points at halftime, Kingsbury. Now he's got 20 for the game. We'll get to the free throw line. He's got 20. He scored. Mm. <laughs> he scored 18 points in the second half, Kingsbury. That's after only scoring nine points against Ohio. Well, he's getting the ball almost every time down the floor. Yeah. Well, when he, he's a player that when he's on, he's going to help the team. When he's off, he's going to hurt the team. But uh, he's, he attracted the attention of three defenders and allowed him to get that ball up to Johnson on the opposite side. Oh, long one by Kingsbury. Ties the game. Kingsbury coming off to his right. <laughs> Last year, missed the free throw. Rebound to Kingsbury. 93-91. Connecticut. One minute and 40 seconds to go. Here goes <laughs> Kingsbury! <laughs> Count it! You can almost give him four for that one. <laughs> to Jones. Missed it. Iowa's going to win this game. Kingsbury is fouled with five seconds to go. What a terrific effort by Iowa. Especially after that out of bounds play call. Tom Davis called the play. Nice alley oop pass from Woolridge over the top to Russ Millard, who put the ball in the hole. Oh, it was Bowen. Yep, Ryan Bowen. It was Ryan Bowen who caught the ball and put it in with the alley oop pass. Kenyon Murray, this is a nice finish, but he didn't need to do this, Derek. The shot <laughs> no, clock didn't. was turned up. If he misses his shot, oh boy, he's it's going to put the ball Iowa back. City. Yeah, he's going to put the ball back <laughs> in the hands of Connecticut, but he makes it, so it turns out to be a good play. Kingsbury, now 10 for 11 from the line. He has scored a whopping 29 points. What, 26 in this half? Yeah, in the overtime. <laughs> he ices it. 